every time I travel this road, I think about all those back in those days who walked this road. And when they're walking this road, what is it that they're thinking? You know, on that day when it's raining, when it's cold, freezing outside, snow on the ground, but they had to be over here. They were cold, they were hungry. Uh, they had to leave the warmth of their cabin to come over here um, to, you know, take care of somebody else's needs and leave their family, you know, to fend for themselves for the day um, and hopefully be able to go back and take care of them and nothing has changed while they've been gone. So I think about that. And, you know, traveling up this road is more significant because the first house you see is the Hart House. This is where my family, since the early 1800s, resided on this plantation. This area, like I said, my family, this is where they grew up, you know, from generation to generation here on this, this property as slaves, as um, sharecroppers, you know, and as time moved on, you know, people moved off, you know, into Durham, mostly into Bragtown. Um, as a little boy, my dad would bring me out here and we sit on the, the little porch that they had. We sit there and he would tell me, you know, look as far as you can see that kind of, he would tell me this is what was here. This is what was here. Now you go up there, you see it was a road up here. They had cabins back here. You know, he would just tell me what was going on. Right over there where there's a, you see the birdhouse right over there was this huge tree. And he was telling me that his aunt, again, they would sit on this porch, they would know what was going on, and they let him know that, hey, it was some slaves that was hung from that tree, and they was not permitted to take them down. For whatever the transgression was, they would stay there until the overseer would, you know, let them take them down. They would take and throw, I would say lime, I don't know if it was, but throw something on them to try to keep the scent down, right? And they told him, don't put nothing on them. You remember, you're going to, the smell is going to remind you of what not to do and to be obedient. The Stagville Memorial Project, who is um, the director there is Ms. Vanessa Hines. We met about two years ago and she contacted me about this project. So we would meet, sit down and talk. And she was like, I'm, I want to do this. What do you think as a descendant? I said, I think it's an excellent idea. I think it's very, very important that people know the history of Durham. Um, and then there's probably going to be some that says, you know, well, that's over and done with. We don't have to deal with that anymore. Can you really say that during these times? How black people are still being treated today? Really? Can you say that? You know what the past is, right? But you still have those run around talking about the Civil War, you know, the South rising. That's still going on. That's in the past. They ain't forgot it and they're not going to forget it. The Jews, they're not forgetting World War II and the Holocaust. They, they every day. Right. We're not going to relive the past. Why is it a problem when we're talking about the past? Memorials basically saying we're remembering and honoring those that were here during bondage. They gave whatever they gave without any payment. What was taken from them? Right. Their dignity their manhood, their womanhood, their children, all these things the memorial saying to them, to me is, would you want that for your family?